Hi ladies, welcome back. Well, let me tell you, I have been doing a lot of purchasing this month from several different places, Ulta, Sephora, and I've gotten some BoxyCharm in. So I thought I would try on and tell you about some of the purchases that I've made this month. Before I do, I would like to welcome all of you in who are new to my channel. I really appreciate you stopping in and joining me here as I'm just getting started on YouTube. I would really appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button and when you're done hit the like button and the notification bell so you're notified anytime that I upload a new video. With that, let's get started. One of the first things that I got in my BoxyCharm this month was from Pharmacy. They are a natural brand. This is a facial oil. And I do have it on, and you can tell I have nice shiny skin right now, but that's going to go away. That'll absorb in. This is their Honey Grail Ultra Highlighting, Ultra Hydrating Face Oil. Let me get my glasses back on, and I can read a little bit about this. I just tried it. It says a fast-absorbing, luxurious, lightweight oil that delivers intense moisture while helping to smooth the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Rich in antioxidant, this multitasking miracle worker. I tried it once before one day and I really, really liked it. I put it on this morning before my sunscreen and it is leaving it very hydrated and glowy. As I've said before, I am 62 years old and I have severely dry skin. And I've actually had a little bit of problem with finding a good foundation that won't break up because it absorbs in and then breaks up by the end of the day. So I've been trying a lot of different foundations out. I got one in BoxyCharm this month and I purchased three other ones. Today the one that I'm going to be using, everyone has been talking about, is the Sephora Best Skin Ever. So we're going to give that a try. I'm going to use, I got a little sample of this, it's the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm going to put that on my face. Oops, my hair back. I'm definitely more of a primer and setting spray person than I am a powder person. I do use some powders, which I like. I use them just basically around my nose and my eyes a little bit just to set everything so it stays very well. I'm going to let that absorb in and while I'm letting that absorb in I'm going to tell you about some of the other products that I'm going to use. This is not new to me but this is something that I have fallen in love with. This is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I absolutely love this. If you have older, drier skin, you're not going to want to put something on your skin that is thick and drying. There are a lot of concealers out there that work great that I have friends that they work great for. Um, the Milani Conceal um, in Perfect, I think it is. Concealer, it works great on most of my friends. But this one works wonders. Now I can use the Milani Eye Primer, so I'm going to put that on as well right now. So we're going to get that on so that it will have time to dry down a little bit. But eyeshadow primer, and when I worked at Bear Essentials, I always told them, you want to put eyeshadow primer on. It's going to give your eyeshadow something to stick to, to adhere to. It's going to prevent creasing. It's going to help it to last all day long. If you don't, and especially if you have oily lids, your eyeshadow is going to crease, and you're going to have this big, dark line of all the collected eyeshadow. But if you put eyeshadow primer on and just a thin amount and spread it out really good on your eyelids, it's going to do wonders and that's the one thing my eye makeup stays on from I get up at 520 in the morning to get ready for work I don't get home until 530 that's 12 hours and when I come home my eye makeup is still on and looking great my foundation sometimes has absorbed into my skin even with foundation primer on but 12 hours is a long is a long day for any foundation to not start fading away a little bit. So I really love the Milani Eye Primer. Urban Decay is my absolute favorite. I know there are some other brands that are really good. The Anastasia Beverly Hills 
as a really good eyeshadow primer. There are several of them out there, high-end and drugstore that you can use, but I would definitely recommend always using an eyeshadow primer. Now, as far as my brows today, I'm going to use this brow product from Urban Decay. It's called the Brow Blade. And the thing that I love about this, it's dual-ended. It has a little pencil, a very fine pencil on one end, and then it has a little blade on the other, and I think I've used this once before. And I really like it because you can get in and detail your eyebrows. I'm going to do my eyebrows first while everything is... And you can fill them in with this and then go back with the other end and it's going to give them a little bit of a like a hair like strokes which I really like. The eyeshadow palette that we're going to use today I picked up at Sephora. Everyone had been talking about the I Love palettes. Over Christmas when they had their sale on I got the I Love Bloom palette. Absolutely loved that. This one is the I Love palette, and this one is for the cool light. These eyeshadow palettes are designed for skin tone, like light, medium, dark, and then if you're warm or cool or neutral undertone. This one, because I'm a cooler undertone and I'm light, is designed specifically for that. And as you can see, it's a very neutral palette beautiful colors. It's going to give just a very neutral look and I love that about this. Let's get started and as usual I'm going to be using my BK Beauty Angie brushes today and I'm going to start out with we're going to start out with this color right here as far as my transition color. I can actually use this And I have found, I've tried this palette once, the Sephora brand eyeshadows, they are very, very nice and they're very blendable. And the prices on these are amazing. If you don't want to spend a lot on palettes or you're not in the position to do that, the Sephora brand is a very good brand. I have tried a couple of the Ulta brands and they're very, very good. They are wonderfully affordable cosmetic lines out there that are drugstore brands or drugstore pricing that work just as well and sometimes even better than the high end. So, okay. And on mature eyes, you want to make sure that you get eyeshadows that are easily blendable, that don't need a lot of tugging or pulling. Some of them they don't spread and you're doing this and then you're you're actually moving your whole eyelid and you don't want to do that. So I'm just going to do this really pretty neutral. Okay, we got our inner crease color and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to take Okay, now I'm going to go back in and I'm just going to blend this in. Okay, so I've just darkened up my corners. And then now, what I'm going to do, I blended that all in with my other one. I'm going to take the flatter brush, the Angie A501, which is a little bit flatter, and I'm going to go into this color here. Now this is just a matte color. And I'm going to highlight my brow bones with this. I like doing this. And I will overlap just slightly on the top edge of my transition shade to make it blend in better. You always want to try to get your colors so they're blending and it's a nice even transition. Just blend that in. You don't want any harsh lines. Okay, now we got to pick a color. Oops, turn it this way so you don't get that. We're going to pick one of these shimmer colors. Let's see what they look like. These are the three shimmer colors. They're all super pretty. 
We can either go a really champagne color, a pink, or this was just sort of a neutral color. Hmm, I think with the coloring that we're doing, I'm going to try this neutral, this one over at the left here. And I'm going to put it starting right in the middle. Ooh, I like that. It's actually got a little bit of like coppery pink color to it. And I'm just going to pat it on. I like to use my fingers, as I've said before. Now, I'm not going all the way to the center. I'm going to take the lightest color here. And I'm going to put that in my inner corner. to help to really brighten up that inner corner. So I don't know about anybody else. That seems to be the spot that I get the darkest. And I'm going to take this brush and I'm just going to try to blend this in right here. What do you think? Okay, now I picked up the Bite Beauty Upswing Extreme Longwear Liquid Eyeliner. I don't always wear liquid eyeliner. I will tell you that because I have older hooded eyes. If I do, I try to make it a very fine, thin line. Sometimes I will make a small wing out on the side. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So let's see what this looks like. It's not super thin. Let's see. Let's give it a little swatch. Very, very pigmented. So let's see if we can get this to make a fine line on the top lashes. And one thing I've learned over the years, if you want to get a line that's straight, and I know some people, I wear glasses, I've got bifocals, so I need them for up close and far away. Make sure my last time I went, my far away vision got better. But if you have problems with it, the best thing that I can suggest is hold your liner sort of sideways, and you're basically almost laying it on your lashes so you can feel where you are. And that way, you're going to get a nice, clean, crisp line. And it's not going to be, you know, jagged or moved around or anything like that. This will let you go. Let's try it. It's pretty, it's pretty pigmented and it's hard to get a super fine line. But if you lay it just in your lash line and sort of press it in, and I'm not going to go super right to the edge today because I'm not going to do a wing. So if I was going to do a wing, I would bring it down, but because I'm not, I don't want it to end all the way down because what's going to happen if you do, it's going to drag your eyes down and my eyes have sort of a downturn to them. So if I took it all the way down to the very end, it would actually make my eye look more downturned and I do not want that. I'm just going to touch this up real quick. I do like this. It goes on very, very smooth. We'll see how long wearing it is. Very, very pigmented, but I do like it and it gives my eyelashes a nice base for my mascara. So we're going to do some mascara in just a moment. Okay, the mascara that I'm going to use today is nothing new. I'm going to use my L'Oreal eye primer base and I'm going to use the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. So I'm going to do that real quick offline and I will be right back with you. Okay, I've got my mascara on. Let's see if I can zoom you in a little bit. You can see the completed eye look. Very natural, very neutral. 
Okay, now we're going to move on and I'm going to put on my concealer. I'm just going to put a small amount with concealer, especially with this one. You don't need a lot. So I usually just put, start out with a little bit in the inner corner and the outer corner. And then I'm going to take my BK Beauty Angie concealer brush and then I just start up in my corner and I'm going to blend it over and then on my outer edge. And the one thing I like about this concealer, it's thin enough where it spreads easily but it does have good coverage. So I go up in my corner where I'm darkest and then blend it over. And this is another thing too, you can either use like almond oil or a makeup wipe to take off any excess if you get too low on your eyeshadow. You want to keep your eyeshadow up as well, but you can also use concealer to clean that up and cover up any mistakes. So I like to do that as well, take anything off, but then the concealer. So you get a little bit of a crisper line on your eyeshadow. And again, you can see how nice this concealer is. It's not settling in my fine lines and wrinkles, which I have a lot. I'm 62, so I do have a lot. I will admit it. I have had no Botox fillers, treatments, anything like that done to my skin. And as I've said before, I have neglected my skin over the years and I'm trying to fix it now. So it's never too late, ladies. Never, ever. Okay, we're going to try the Sephora Best Skin Ever, and I've got the 17.5N Neutral. And we're going to see how well this works. I did bring up my It Cosmetic. This is the Heavenly Skin Brush. It's called a Skin Smoothing Complexion Brush, and I do like this very, it's dense, but very soft bristles, bristles, and it's on an angle, so it works really, really nice. See how all this... I think I got some of my my face oil and my hair. We'll have to fix that. <laughs> This is what I would consider light coverage, but buildable so far. We'll see. I'm going to try to put it on my finger and I'm going to press it in a little bit. I really like the finish on this. I don't see it necessarily settling in fine lines and wrinkles or anything. I am going to take a little bit of my Laura Mercier powder. that wears off the fastest. In the center of your face. I do like this Laurie Mercier. It is it is definitely a luxury brand. But I do, I do like this powder. I don't notice it settling in my lines and wrinkles, and it does help to mattify, but not super mattify. If that makes sense, my skin. I found these little teeny makeup sponges at Ulta. They are so cool because they can get right up in there. And this is a tip that I learned from one of the other YouTubers. She was uh, following a makeup artist um, and he was saying that when you're doing, he goes, I know you're not supposed to pull your skin, but to pull just a little bit. So it will, if you do have any fine lines or wrinkles there, it will op open them up so you can really press everything in a little bit better. 
and I find that very true because you don't want everything to settle into all your fine lines and wrinkles. Okay, next thing I purchased was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer. Let's see what we've got. And I've got it in Tawny. They only had a couple of, when I went to go look at them, they only had a couple of shades there. So let's see what we've got. Got to get that little plastic off the top. Let's see. I'm going to try to give it a little swatch with my finger here. I like the color. It's not too dark. It doesn't look real super warm. So I think we're going to be okay there. I'm going to use my IT Cosmetic. This is my contouring brush. Absolutely love this. I know it's a strange shape, but it is so soft that it blends in everything very well. So let's give this a try. Tap it off. And I like how I can actually sort of press the color in and then blend it out with this. Oh, I am really liking this color. Really liking this color. I'm going to do a little bit under my chin. And ladies, as we've talked before, it is good to do it right under your chin and right under where your jaws would be and then blend it down because this is going to form a shadow. This is what contouring is. So it's going to give your chin a little bit more chiseled or fine look because as we get older we know those lines get very blurred when things start to get loose and not as taunt and you lose your collagen. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit up here. I think I have found one of my new favorites. I absolutely love this coloring of this bronzer. Really nice. Very subtle. Not too dark. I think in the summertime if I got darker, it necessarily wouldn't be dark enough, but love that. Now, I thought I would try something fun. I picked up two NARS blushes. Let's see. And I picked up some fun colors. This one is called Gaiety. Talk about a fun color. Let's give this a swatch. A nice bright pink. And the other one is called Desire. So I'm get it out of the box here. Let's see what this one looks like. Ooh, this one's bright too. These are both very, very close. They didn't look that way in the pack, in the online. But I think this one is coming out, if you can see. It's a little bit, a little bit lighter, but they're both very cool, sort of bright pink colors. So I'm going to grab my Angie blush brush. Let's see, which color are we going to pick? You can see they're pretty close. But, little tip here, I got these on the BoxyCharm site when they opened up their little store for the month, and I think I paid... $10 a piece, so I don't know if they're maybe last season's colors or what, but I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix them. I'm going to take a little bit of this, woo, tap off the excess, and let's see what happens here. I'll put this more up front. Also, it's not going on as dark as you think. Very scary looking when you look at the color. <laughs> you think you could end up with bright cheeks. And the other one is just a little bit lighter, so I'm going to take that and put that more in the back and up a little bit. And then blend them together. I love 
both of these colors. And then you can just take your one of your sponges, I brought several up with me, and just blend the edges to soften it up a little. I think I found some other good things that I'm trying for the first time this month. Loving this. Now, this is something that I actually picked up at a Marshalls. My husband and I went up north last weekend, and I found this. This is from MAC, and it is called, ooh, it's very small and very light, their Double Gleam Extra Dimension Skin Finish. Look at this. This is so cool. Look at the pattern on this. And it came in a little kit, and it came with a little brush for highlighting. It's got your MAC 143 SES brush in here. So let's see how shimmery this is. I'm just going to put it lightly. You don't want a lot of shimmer. Because I already have enough glow going on right now. But I do like that. Boy, does it give you a glow. <laughs> okay. Ladies, I am going to go off camera for a minute. I am going to go fix my hair. And when I come back, we'll put some lips on and we will be done. And we'll talk about what we purchased this month. See you in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back. Fixed my hair. See, I got it cut short in the back. But I actually love it. I think it's going to be perfect for summer. But the last thing we need to do is put on some lips. So I've got a NYX liner. And this is in, oh gosh, Sand Pink. So let's put this on. I'll get a little bit of springy colors. Okay, so I'm just going to blend it in a little bit on my lips. And then the lipstick that I picked up, I just happened to pick this up when I was at a drugstore. It's the Maybelline. Let me see if I can, this is smaller. This is their Lust for Blush Matte. And I actually like their matte lipsticks because they do seem to stay on a little bit better, but they're not drying. And this is a nice cool tone pink. really like that. Feels creamy on. For a matte lipstick, a lot of them feel so drying, and I actually like this a lot. Now, if you don't want to leave it with a matte finish, you can always put my favorite on top, which is Buxom. I used to work at Paris Essentials, and they did carry the Buxom line, and then I found out I could get it at Sephora after the Beer Essential Store closed, so. Okay. This is the look without my glasses. And this is the look with my glasses. And I always like to show you my makeup both ways because there are a lot of women out there that wear glasses all the time. And I don't see very many YouTubers that are showing you how your makeup looks with glasses on. So I think that's something important to show you. I love the colors. I've got my darker glasses on today. That's one of the reasons why I didn't do a super dark eyeshadow. I've got two different pair of glasses, and I think my next pair I'm going to get even lighter. But everyone kept telling me to try dark, so I tried dark, and I like them, but they're a little different for me. So this is how the makeup looks with their glasses on. And always keep that in mind when you're doing eyeshadow what colors and how dark it is. If your glasses are super dark, you may not want to put super dark colors on your eyes. That's why I wear my darker colors on my days that I have lighter glasses on. Okay, let's talk about some of our products that we used. 
since not all of them are new, we don't have to talk about all of them, but new to me today was the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. As of right now, I am loving the way that this looks on my skin. 62 years old, doesn't look doesn't look like it's settling into fine lines and wrinkles. Actually makes my skin, I think, look a lot better. Also from Sephora, the Sephora I Love Palette. Would definitely recommend these to anyone. If you are a neutral girl or someone that does not wear a lot of makeup, this is a perfect palette for you. All your neutrals, you could even, if you didn't want to put the shimmer on your lid, you could put the center color on your lid here. This one, it's not, you can't even hardly see it, it's super light. You could put this on your eyelid all the way around and just brighten up your eyes but not have shimmer. I'm a shimmer girl, I like the shimmer on my eyes. So, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Bronzer, absolutely love this. I love the tone, I love the way it feels on my hands, the color of it, it's so creamy, it goes on, it blended so well into my skin, absolutely. Loving this, I'll let you know how it wears. These two little babies, love the color. I When I opened up the package, I will tell you, I was like, wow, those are bright. But when you put them on, they actually turn, you can put them on softly. They're a beautiful color. And I know NARS has got some beautiful products, so I'm excited to see how the, well these wear. I will put comments in the bottom in my description um, as to links where you can find these products and also how well they wear, to, um, wear on my skin. The Pharmacy Honey Grail Face Oil. So far, I am loving this. I will let you know how hydrated it keeps my skin throughout the day. That's a big thing for me. Your skin, if it feels hydrated when you first put it on, but an hour later it feels super dry, that's not going to work because you can't keep putting moisturizer on all day through the day. It's going to take off your makeup. So to me, it's very important that your makeup and your skin care work together to keep you on a good look all day. So I hope you enjoyed this. I had fun doing it. I love trying out new makeup and I will continue to do that. I buy things every month. My husband tells me I buy too much, but even before I started my channel, but now it's like, it's an excuse for me to buy more and try out more. So if you have any suggestions or anything that you would like for me to try out, I will gladly see if I can do that for you. Again, go out, have a wonderful blessed day and we'll see you again soon. And please give my video a thumbs up and I would love it if you join my community and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate that. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.